again, Pietro. You saw the thumbnail. You saw that little intro. Redshift. What is that all about and how do you use it and will it work with your Garmin? Let's find out, shall we? On your Garmin timepiece, if it came with a bright AMOLED display, several Garmin models come with a mode called Redshift. This is the Garmin Epix 2 and I just got this update earlier this week. More than just a black background with red font, this redshift mode alters the entire watch face interface with shades of red to preserve your human night vision by blocking the colors of light that constrict pupils' colors. And if I navigate through the watch, as you can see, it's all red there. The new red font may also reduce sleep cycle disturbances. After redshift is enabled, users can still navigate the watch. There's the temperature. And when you do workouts, it will also stay in red. So if I just start a GPS walk, see, it stays in the red shift mode. Now, what about maps? Well, I'll show you a video that I recorded earlier this evening. And here's an example of what the map would look like in redshift at night with hardly any light on. There's a slight glow of my monitors. Here, I'll turn on a little more light. Yeah, that's what you're gonna get with the redshift map. Now, if I exit out of here, go into control menu, and turn off redshift, and then go back to the map. Kind of a big difference. I think it's a lot easier to see in color versus redshift. Personal preference. So how to enable? You just go to the control wheel there, and if you don't see redshift right there, so then I'll turn it off. I was just, randomly going through control mode. So from the watch face, do a long press on the light button. And now if you don't see redshift, long press on the menu button, add controls, and scroll through what you have and then keep going down and then click plus on redshift. Since I already have it, it's already in my list. And then when you go back to the control menu, you'll see redshift, click on it, and now your entire interface is red. Pretty cool, right? You can also enable it through hotkeys. I chose the back and up, and you can do that really easy through the app. So step one, open up your Garmin app. Step two, click on the watch. Choose your watch from the list. You're gonna wanna scroll on down to appearance, controls, and then you scroll all the way down to the ones you don't have and you should see red shift in that list. If you don't, well, your watch might not have it. So there's mine right there. And of course I can move it up in there and then it updates on the watch. You can also enable it through your display settings. To do that, again, right from the main screen on your app, this is Android, Click on the watch, choose your watch, scroll all the way down to system, and then you wanna to go to hotkeys, and that's how I enabled it through hotkeys, and I chose backup. If you don't have one available, you have to change it, and so now all I do is back and up, and I can toggle redshift on or off. You can also go to display. So again, go to system, and then display, and you can choose during activity, general use, or during sleep. So if I go to during activity, I can choose redshift on after sunset, on or off, and then I can do general use, redshift off, or on after sunset. So if I toggle it on, and then my watch synchronizes, it'll automatically enable it. And note for sleep mode, either have it on or off, you can't do after sunset. Ergo, sorry if you sleep after hours or if you're grade yard shift because you're not going to be able to do the after sunset, which is, you know, that's just one of those things, right? So this watch face is called Dash, and that's how it looks in redshift mode. And then I have always on display. 
So it does that timeout. And then this is the contrast difference with it off. And Dash is a free watch face that I downloaded through Garmin IQ, and that's the always on display. This watch is called Instinct Mission. So this is normal color mode, and this is how it alters in redshift mode. And then in just a second, it'll time out with always on display. So yes, Redshift works with always on display. And there's the AOD. Pretty cool. Each watch face is going to vary a little bit in how the AOD enables. This is an app called Electric Meter. In just a second, it'll time out. And there's your AOD. Dim the lights. So with really low lights, that's what your redshift is going to look like. And I can vouch for it. Yeah, it is easy on the eyes. And there's the AOD. Really cool, I think. One of the better AODs. And then we have stock watch faces, like this one. This one doesn't really have a name, at least not that I can find. And this is what it looks like without huge contrast difference. Now it is worth noting that when redshift mode is enabled, it can reduce visible contrast on some of the screens. Here's a red here's how redshift appears in the daylight under direct sunlight. I was kind of I, I look at my watches a lot when I'm driving and normally with my glasses off and for me sometimes in really direct sunlight depending on which screen I'm in, the screen can appear a little bit blurry. So Personal preference, and it's going to depend upon your eyesight. And I just realized I'm wearing the wrong shirt. This is about redshift. Hang on a second. Wait. Ow, I can't do that with it. Ah, there we go. That's better. Now I'm wearing a red shirt. Test all things. So how does redshift affect battery life? I spoke to Garmin support, and uh, this nice resident representative, Luke, told me, nope, no battery gains or losses reported at this time. And a huge shout out to Luke for helping me fix my Garmin Epics. I may do a video on what the problem was, but that's for another time. But of course, yes, I did my own testing with Redshift early this week. Sorry, I did not notice any battery life ups or downs. And that is all for now. It is a fun feature if you have a Garmin Epics 2 or a Phoenix 7X or the 7X Pro. And I also asked Luke, well, is it gonna be enabled for the Garmin Enduro 2? And he was unsure. If you have a watch model like the Venue 3, that was a new one they just came out with, or you have an Enduro 2, JP, if you're watching, go ahead and check, or maybe Phoenix 5 or a Phoenix 4, the Phoenix 6X, Go ahead and check to see if you can enable Redshift and comment below because curious minds want to know. Thank you for clicking on by. I will see you again in 88 hours or sooner or later. Goodbye. On your Garmin timepiece, if it came with a bright AMOLED display like this Epix 2, Several Garmin models came with Redshift. More than just a background with red font, Redshift alters the entire watch face with shades of red to help pursue. Blah, blah. Now it is worth noting that when Redshift mode is enabled, it can reduce the visible contrast on some screens in different light scenarios, especially in really, really dark, kind of in between. Here's how redshift appears in daylight under direct sunlight. And you can see, you know, it's it's visible, but yet at the same time, I I kind of feel with my with my glasses off that the visibility is a little bit blurry. So it just depends on the person.